Actually, I'm curious for, for you guys. Do you have uh, some fans? Have you developed uh, kind of a little fan club? Do people recognize you and start whispering words or something? Or? So, well, I don't. They, uh, when people come up to me, <laughs> they don't really do the whisper thing, but they but they will say, you know, we we really like you on the show, but we love the show, love the show in general. Um, they come up and whisper to me all the time. Me too. Hell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you do. I'm sorry. Up. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um. I've never had a problem with Atticus, by the way. Just Charlie. <laughs> you should have come. Yeah. You should have come. We have some stuff to work out. I think Charlie is the one that's. I, I could be wrong. You tell me. But who's <laughs> dealing with? I mean, if, do they still have like Teen Beat or whatever, <laughs> Tiger Beats or something don't magazine? Look at me. Yeah. Sassy. Is that, well, I thought maybe. Because <laughs> yeah, well, I look like that. Devil. Was, wasn't there a Facebook that some guy wanted to take you? Yes, oh, yes I was. Then. I was gonna bring that up actually. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead now. Um, yeah, that was the. That's. I mean, yeah, Charlie's gotten it. I mean, ten times worse than I have. But there was a Facebook group <laughs> that my friend showed me that was um, something like. Please join this group to help me get a date with Eden Cher. <laughs> <gasps> I looked at it and I was like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding? That's how you know you've made it in this town, yeah, by the way. Yeah, exactly. It's the moment we all wait for. Yeah. So they're going out on Saturday. Well, yeah, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> and now he's my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, that's a lesson for all you kids out there if you're looking to, to, to date. I, <laughs> And so, you know, I've actually always been curious, too, like, if you feel a little bit ripped off, because Brick, kind of a cool name. You don't hear that a lot. Axel, nice name. You're Sue. <laughs> well, I think that was the point yeah. in the pilot. I don't even remember. If the, did that make it yeah, into it the got, it, got, it got cut. It got cut, yeah. but the whole explanation for their names was that Frankie read in People magazine or somewhere that <laughs> kids go farther in life if they have more interesting names. <laughs> so she named Axel, Axel. Bob, great. Axel, Axel Rose, after Axel we Rose, believe, had something to do with the conception. Rick after Paul Newman and Kat on the Hot Tim Roof. But Sue, uh, uh, Mike's Mike. grandmother, said on her dying, you know, on her deathbed, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, you have to name your daughter Sue. Sue. So we always said that Sue's living up to the curse of her average name. So if she'd had a more interesting name, you know, but all that got cut out of the pilot. But, yeah. <laughs> but I remember it. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Do you have fans who come up and tell you, oh, we're so sorry? Like, no. <laughs> um, yeah, actually. Yeah, a lot of people come up and they're like, um, we feel really bad for Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down. That's, and, I, and sort of a side note, I'm curious if people come up to you, uh, Patty, and say, we're really sorry about Frankie's hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, first of all, I'm sitting here obsessing about Charlie and, and thinking of trying to get the head. <laughs> She's gone. Like, what did I, what should I have done differently? Okay. Um, my, those bangs, you know, it's a love-hate relationship with the bangs. Um, but it was, it was your idea to have the, the bangs. The bangs, yeah. and I just want, I'm, uh, Shoes and hair are real big characters. What? I'm not no, I... like serious method actor. Don't laugh. <laughs> it's a good thing. But it's shoes and hair make a big difference for me. And um, uh, so, what was what's the Coen Brothers movie um, with the no, Spanish Fargo? actor? Fargo. Fargo. Uh, the, Fargo. The <laughs> oh, uh, the, the, the No Country for Old Men. No Country for Old Men. <laughs> and what's the Spanish actor? The Ra Raul. No, <laughs> Raul. Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem. No. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Okay, you know the the, the no, wig. You know that his hair and how freaky and scary <laughs> that was. And he even said that after he finished filming, he it. It, it still did, it depressed him for weeks afterwards because he couldn't get the image of himself out, out of his head out of that image of, out of his head of, with him with that hair. Um, I'm just coming off the Zoloft right now. <laughs> um, we've been wrapped for a few months. Um, but um, I just it's sort of like you come in in the morning and you know you, 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 they you clip, clip them clip them in and she's suddenly there and I think it. You know, it's so hard to be an actress and not um, worry about how you look. And so, so many shows are aspirational, which is, you know, you're you're holding up this kind of wonderful fantasy life that everybody wishes they could have, and that serves that purpose. But that's not our show. <laughs> and um, I I, I want to be able to be free of worrying about how I look and just be able to um, 
be Frankie, and, and boy, those bangs really help free me, <laughs> free me from worrying that I look too good. <laughs> I like the bangs. I like them. Sometimes, Sometimes at certain nice. angles, I think they look really cute, and then I have so they many people say, oh my yes. gosh, those bangs. She's too cute. No. You just don't like your bangs yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Alex Reed said, though? Hmm. And this is what, because people come up to me, too, and they're like, you're not very pretty on that show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, yeah, it's okay, but. On that um, running scene. <laughs> I was that was the best. Yes. <laughs> she was Where's the fire. best trooper, man. <laughs> yes. God, she did a million times. The one with mm -hmm. the makeup, the one you had the eyeshadow, that was. That oh, was yeah, a big I one. was go, go. really hot in that, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm okay with it because, Alex, I always think back on this. Cool is the antithesis of funny. <laughs> so uh, if, we, yeah. if we have a choice. Is true? <laughs> well, it is. Who said I think that? Yeah. People <laughs> magazine? No, Alex, <laughs> you're so cool. cool. So oh, okay, funny. yeah. <laughs> so I'd rather be funny okay. than really cool and That's true. trendy. Okay. <laughs> right. So. You know, part of the reason that Eden was such a trooper, and then for a minute there, all of us were in that yeah. track scene, yeah. is that water was freezing. <laughs> it was just out of a hydrant or something. <laughs> and a wind freezing. picked up. Well, hydrant costs a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it did. Oh, well, I meant the source of the water. <laughs> Just Not how it got there. Yes, yeah, so a hydrant attached to a rain machine. <laughs> yeah. It was cold. $100,000 or something, but <laughs> it was ice water. Oh, yeah. Eden was in it all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But discomfort is funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay, it pays off. And wasn't yeah, it the same sounds... water that came from the fountain used in the uh, opening credits of Friends? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's holy, very holy, holy Friends water.